in today's video I'm giving you a peek into my handbag so if you are curious about what I carry with me to Sunday church services then you are in for a treat keep watching <music> Hello fabulous ladies and warm welcome to all the viewers joining us today. I'm thrilled to have you here on my channel where we embrace fashion style, beauty, lifestyle and all things fabulous. Well if you're new, I'm Bridget, your go-to guide for all things fabulous in your 40s and beyond. To those just passing by, you have just stumbled upon a stylish corner of the internet. And to my regular viewers, it's always a pleasure to have you back here for another fabulous and stylish journey together. Well, today I'm doing something a little different and fun. A what's in my handbag video, church edition. And this is the handbag in question. I just got back from church and I thought I would show you what I normally pack in my handbag for church. For all the church goers out there who are curious to know what other ladies carry, this one is for you. I love watching these kinds of videos myself, so I thought, why not share my own for you to enjoy? So let's dive in and see what's inside. So this is a medium-sized Charles and Keith handbag. I got this bag sometime in 2012. Yes, that's how long I've had this bag. So it's a trapeze bag and it's got some cow hairs in front. And then at the back, it's leather. And by now, ladies, you know how much I love structured handbags. So yes, this is the one. So let's go. The first item in my handbag is a compact Bible, a physical Bible. I like to carry a physical Bible to Sunday church services because I like to follow along with the sermon and participating in the readings. So even though the faces are displayed on the screen or during the service, I still prefer to read from my own Bible and I like to highlight from my Bible so that I can refer to the faces later. And it also allows me to engage more deeply. And this is the NLT version. It's very easy to understand and I chose it in the color pink because it's girly and it's ladylike. And then I also like to move around with a compact Bible because it can fit into any handbag, whether it's a big bag or a small bag on that day. This small Bible is always going to fit. And in it, I've got two page markers, one with the Ten Commandments and the other with the verse, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18, which says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything, give thanks. I've got these bookmarkers from where? I forgot. And the next item I have in my handbag is a small notebook and a pen for taking notes during the same one. So for me, I've noticed that writing notes in a physical notebook helps me to stay engaged and focused. And then it also ensures that I remember the key points later. Plus, it keeps me awake and attentive throughout the service. And the next item that I have is a wallet. And this is an LV Zippy wallet. I always bring my wallet topped with cards and sometimes cash. It is essential for any offerings and any accidental expenses that might come up on my way to church or from church, especially when I'm moving around with kids. Plus, it's always handy to have all my cards with me just in case. So in this, I have all my cards, my Woolies cards, my pick and pay, clicks, uh, checkers, all of them, and then my bank cards, and every card that I made in DSCAM, clicks, club card, and then I also have my business cards in there to promote my business or in case I need to share my number with someone and we are in a hurry. I always find it easier to just bring out my business cards and then just hand them over. So I think this wallet is very handy because I can fit in a lot of cards. So I can move around with all my cards. They fit in there. I don't even know how many are in there. And then on to the next item, which is 
sunglasses. So this is a pair from Dolce and Gabbana. Cat eye, cat eye shape. So I wear sunglasses all year round. In summer, I wear my sunglasses to protect my eyes from the harsh sun rays. And then in winter, I also like to wear my sunglasses to protect my eyes from the cold wind. Normally in winter, my eyes tear up. So when outside, I always put my sunglasses on to protect my eyes from the elements. I always keep these in my handbag whether I'm going to church or I'm going anywhere. So that's it for the sunglasses. On to the next item, which is a hairbrush. This small hairbrush, I got this from Clicks. So this hairbrush is small enough to fit into my handbags and it's uh, perfect for any touch-ups before or after the service and uh, it's also helpful for managing unexpected tangles and stray hairs throughout the day. So yeah, this is a must have in my handbags, especially when I have wigs or when my hair is out. Uh, so let's see what's next. Okay, uh, next is a hand lotion and this is for obvious reasons to moisturize my hands when I wash my hands after visiting the bathroom. So yeah, I got this from my friend uh, after she traveled. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but yeah, this is it. It's a uh, 30 mil. And again, it's small enough to fit into any size of handbag. And then next I have a small pack of tissues, which is almost running out. So I carry tissues because they are a lifesaver for unexpected sniffles or spills during the service. Plus they come in handy when offering someone a tissue in need or for wiping away tears during particularly moving moments. And speaking of which, I actually pulled out one today during the service. For some reason, this eye kept on tearing up. I don't know why. I don't know how. Maybe it was the air cons. I'm not sure but I kept having to wipe away the tears. I tried pinching my nose, I tried everything, but the tears wouldn't stop. Or maybe I had some uh, lashes in my eye. I don't know, I'm not sure, but yeah, these saved me. Otherwise I would have had my mascara all over my eye or down to my cheeks, lifesaver. And then up next is, um, lipstick and lip gloss and uh, these are bought by MAC so this is a lip gloss uh, MAC lip gloss in the shade Love Nectar and uh, the bullet lipstick uh, is in the shade cream in your coffee and this is what I'm wearing right now this is what it looks like So I normally carry the lipstick that I'll be wearing on that particular day. So this was the lipstick color of the day. And uh, I carry them around because uh, they're good for touch-ups. I love, if you know me, I love to take pictures. So, so in most cases, after the Sunday service, I normally go out and take pictures with my friends. So yes, that's when these come in handy for touch-ups for my pictures. So speaking of pictures, if you like to see those pictures, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. The handle is the same, Bridget underscore official. The handle is the same across all social media platforms. So please do follow me on Pinterest. I'm constantly pinning my pictures, so don't miss out. And the next item, well, this is going to look and sound strange, but yeah, for me, it's a necessity. And these are headphones. So these are an essential for me. I consider these an essential uh, for listening to voice notes, the WhatsApp voice notes. And I need to be discreet. Not during the service, of course, but after when I'm mixing and mingling outside church. So yeah, these I need to have with me all the time. 
And then last but not least, I have a phone, which is always on silent or on vibration mode to avoid distractions during the service. It's important to stay focused on the worship and the message being shared. So it's the iPhone X Max, and I've heard this phone since forever. Well, folks, that's a wrap on our little handbag adventure. I hope you enjoyed getting a sneak peek into my Sunday essentials. And remember, whether you're going to church or tackling the day, it's all about being prepared and stylishly equipped. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more fashion content. Until next time, stay stylish, stay fabulous. Bye.